I'd like to talk a little bit about black seed oil, right? This is a, a quite amazing compound. It's a very small molecule, but it has huge therapeutic potential because it's been effective on so many different types of problems from asthma to allergies to digestion, cancer, skin inflammation, and then I mentioned diabetes because it has this really interesting effect on the A1C and helping someone with insulin resistance. It supports the, the cell in the pancreas called the beta cell that regulates insulin. And so anything that would improve that would also correlate to improving weight problems. There's been uh, a lot of research in the area of the immune system, specifically autoimmune diseases. And I'm going to put some of the research down below. But if we take a look at all the conditions I just mentioned, a lot of them boil down to inflammation. And that's exactly what black seed can do. One way it does it is it helps to regulate inflammation. So when someone has this inflamed situation, there's always this immune factor, it's kind of IL-6, that's higher. Well, there's something in black seed oil that tends to lower that. It also helps increase something called interferon, which is basically an immune compound that interferes with uh, infection and viruses. That's the word interferon, right? It interferes with this um, virus that's attacking the cell. Also, there's another part of the immune system called the T uh, regulatory cells. And those cells help to dampen an overactive immune system, as in an autoimmune situation where you have this inflammation that's out of control. So black seed oil helps to stimulate that part of the immune system. Out of all the different plant-based chemicals in black seed oil, the biggest one is called thymoquinone. This molecule is probably the, the most of any other molecules in black seed. Even though there's over 1,700 different uh, papers on this, why would it work on some people but not others? You have to realize that this is a compound that addresses the symptom, right? It doesn't actually fix the cause of the problem. I mean, it's great to take because it's non-toxic, it's relatively inexpensive, and it's pretty effective, but you also at the same time need to dive into what's causing your asthma, what's causing the autoimmune, what's causing your digestive issues, what's causing diabetes. Because if you have a person that doesn't correct that and they take this remedy, it's just gonna be a waste because it's, it might not work. But that being said, I would try it out. I would definitely try it because uh, a lot of people are getting amazing results with it. Another thing that's actually probably more important than you know 1,700 studies is the fact that it stood the test of time. It's been around for several thousand years. They found it in King Tut's tomb, and it's been used in many different cultures for just so many different things. Some people also take it for brain health um, because it can actually increase something called acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter, which can help your memory and your ability to learn and your focus and your concentration. But I think the majority of people take it mainly for inflammation on the skin like dermatitis. And uh, you can take it orally as well as topically. And the question is, how much should you take? Well, I would recommend taking between one and three teaspoons per day. But always start out with just a little bit, maybe like um, maybe a half a teaspoon and work your way up. And it's really kind of bitter, doesn't really taste good. But if it starts to help you, you'll keep taking it. But I want to mention something about uh, using it topically putting it on a joint that's inflamed, right? What I would recommend, if you really wanna see a, a very cool enhanced effect, is get another product, it's called DMSO. Now, DMSO in itself is an anti-inflammatory, but it tends to help drive things deeper into the tissues. It tends to penetrate uh, all sorts of layers uh, on your, your skin. In fact, if you just took a DMSO and put it on your foot, for example, I mean, within seconds, you'll actually taste like a little, like a garlic taste. So it goes right into the body really fast. And that itself is a good remedy. But when you add these two together, so you're adding this incredible solvent with the black seed oil, okay, together. And I would do a 50-50 mixture. So it's just 50-50. And then I would rub it into the joint, okay, whether it's in your knee, or your toe, or your ankle, or your wrist, I think you're gonna notice an even bigger effect with this because you're adding two powerful things and this DMSO thing will just drive it right into the joint and really help your inflammation. And what's interesting is I got this idea from 
WebMD of all sources, okay? But sometimes people just use DMSO itself. Sometimes they add aloe. There's all sorts of recipes. You can add things to it to push things in the body, but the molecules have to be small enough to be carried uh, by this uh, solvent. Now, black seed oil is definitely on my list of favorite uh, remedies for different things. Now, if you'd like the complete list of all my favorite remedies and you want to just download it, I put a link right down below. Check it out.